Thanks for keeping it wide, 254. Barry Moses has had an interactive session and, of course, a segment. And right now, we want to venture into another topic. Of course, we want to dub it Bridging Youth Opportunity Gaps. And today I'm joined by a guest, and uh, he's quite a young man. Also, he's ready for to talk about the, 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 the opportunities that we have in the industry. And of course, even as young people are looking forward to venture into the marketplace. Welcome, Mr. Erastas, Erastas Cheruyot. I got that right, I believe. Yeah, you're right. My name is Erastas Cheruyot. Yes, yes. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here, of course. I want you to introduce yourself, because I understand that you're a man who has several hearts. Yeah. Um, Basically... Uh, I studied engineering mm -hmm. in the University of Nairobi. Yes. It was environmental and biosystems engineering. And then um, had some stint of practice mm -hmm. in engineering. And then now I'm working with ICANN, mm -hmm. a program that we founded that links young people to opportunities. What yes, we yes. do is we prepare these young people and uh, link them up to opportunities. Probably we can make it right because ICANN is an acronym. What does it stand for? ICANN is a long name. It means uh, Inspire Communications and Awareness Network. Yes. Mm -hmm. Inspire Communications and Awareness Network. Mm -hmm. The passion came from um, creation of awareness and, of course, communicating it to people in an inspirational way. And then we have to network. You see, we can't do it by, was by ourselves. So, mm. in, in fact, right now we're working with uh, so many networks to yes. see that we uh, are able to get the awareness out there and mm -hmm. actually be able to help people. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're the founder of ICANN. Yes, I am. Uh, Collaborating with LEAP. Yeah. What is LEAP? LEAP is a program mm -hmm. from ICANN. LEAP uh, essentially means leadership experience mm -hmm. and apprenticeship program. All right. Leadership experience and apprenticeship program. Why, why leadership? Leadership is because we believe everyone is a leader. So we are developing leadership among young people. This is a particularly for young people mm -hmm. uh, who are looking out for opportunities in life. So LIP is a dedicated program that develops the leadership ac abilities required for the opportunities because every opportunity requires some leadership uh, capabilities from a young person. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, today on our topic, we are talking about bridging the opportunity gaps. Yeah. What, what are some of the opportunities that you think that are not exploited by young people in the marketplace? Of course, it starts with, okay, the, the thing that we see, about 90% of what we are dealing with is young people looking yes. for work. Mm -hmm. They call it jobs. But of course, ourselves, we don't call it jobs. We call it opportunities, mm -hmm. generally, because there are opportunities for work, there are opportunities for education, there are opportunities for entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and a whole portfolio of opportunities that young people could explore. Yes. It's only unfortunate that in our society, the only thing young people think about when they are out of school mm -hmm. is work so they can earn money. It's a very limited way of looking at things. When you mention money, I'm prompted to ask, probably once you finished university, yeah. did you begin to earn money right away? Not really. Actually, when I visit, uh, I started visiting the slums All right. and volunteering uh -huh. and actually going into my pockets to uh, do the fairs to the slums mm -hmm. and uh, visit orphanages. We did pro bono projects and very long internships that were unpaid. Mm -hmm. And that is that was a lot of experience to me. And I actually learned a lot from that. And we developed actually our program right now is came out of all those experiences. Let me let me ask. Yeah, you talked about creating programs. Yeah. Uh, that's an example I want you to like Fuzu. Do you create something like Fuzu? Yeah, Fuzu I know deals with young people. Yes. Uh, about careers mostly. Mm -hmm. I see they have a few, I, I, I haven't really explored the entire system, mm -hmm. but one of the things they do is they aggregate opportunities yes. and of course send out vacancies. Mm. What we might be having slightly different from Fuzu is we do the training for our candidates. Mm -hmm we prepare them before we give them the, the, the vacancy. Uh, one unique thing again we have is we partner with employers. Isn't it? What, what young people don't understand, and I also got surprised when we got started doing this, is there are more opportunities yes. than the job seekers. There are actually more, if, if you talk about employment mm -hmm. about itself, 
there are more employment opportunities than the suitable job seekers. Right. When you speak with the employers, especially in the private sector, mm -hmm. which we, of course, we, we were working mostly with the private sector. Kepsa, yeah. for instance. Yeah, so, and uh, employers in the private sector, it could be any business, any. Mm -hmm. yeah. They tell us that there are things that would like, they would like done, mm -hmm. but they don't have the right people for these positions. And mm -hmm. when they advertise, everybody applies yes. without, even, without even matching their skills and qualities to the position. Uh -huh. So it's a case of desperate job seekers flooding your inbox with applications and out of that you may not get the right person. Let me ask you, yeah. do you think universities are not providing the students with enough skills and expertise for the marketplace? That is where actually we identify our problem to be. Uh -huh. Our problem to be the institutions. Our problem actually begins with families, and uh, this is something that people don't really realize. Family is the greatest broken, one of the greatest broken institutions we have in the country, mm -hmm. because this young person starts their nurturing from family. So when the parent is not aware of how to nurture a young person mm -hmm. in readiness for opportunities in life, so you see they miss out. Yes. And then of course institutions right now, which unfortunately uh, seem to be commercial, they really don't care much about the professional qualities that a young person should, should mm -hmm. gain. So long as you can pay the fees, go through some course, you go out, tarmac if you don't find a, uh, any job, come back, study another course like that. They don't have career departments which should be a mandatory department yes. in school. When we meet such kind of a student yeah. who apparently doesn't have enough skills, though he has been or he or she has been through college, mm. what do you do to them? Now we take them through this leadership experience. One, we need to get them and really ascertain mm -hmm. that this person is, knows what they want to do. If they don't, we can guide them. And then we help them develop the qualities. Employment is not about your skills. Uh, uh, per se. Actually, your, ski, your, your qualifications in school mm -hmm. come, uh, in, in most cases, uh, of surprisingly, mm -hmm. doesn't even count in most cases. Mm -hmm. So what employers are looking for are certain professional qualities. The content of your character also matters a lot. Mm -hmm. So they need to see that you're good professionally, mm -hmm. your character is right, and then now uh, they can even train you on what you, they need done in the mm -hmm. workplace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So primarily what you deal with is nurturing people and growing them. Yeah, they have to go through a serious training. Have some really tough training mm -hmm. in LIF that we make our candidates go through. If we if a candidate doesn't go through that training sufficiently uh, and impressively, then we can't match to an employer because what we care about in this case is we care about this young person finding the opportunity whether it's they are looking for work, we care about them uh, finding it, so we develop them mm -hmm. to suitability for the, for the role. Yes. But we also care very, very much about the employers that we are serving, because we can't give them people who are not qualified. Yes. So we, 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 we do intensive development mm -hmm. of the qualities mm -hmm. required, and then we match them to the suitable Because of time, yeah. let's talk about unemployment among us young people. It's at 40% right now as per it stands. Uh -huh. Let me ask. What are some of the things that you believe ought to be done or supposed to, to be, be do, continuing in uh -huh. process so as to solve the menus of unemployment among the youth? Yeah, we need to teach youth that um, what, I, what I see, it's, it, it all comes down to the person. Mm. We need to teach you to have the right thinking. Actually, unemployment is not just about jobs. Mm. Unemployment is about you being ready for opportunities. Opportunities gravitate towards a ready person. Yes. So young people, if they really need to thrive in a market like mm -hmm. this, is they need to know who they are. And it's the awareness that we are driving. Sure. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Are you uh, an engineer or mm -hmm. are you uh, somebody in hospitality? Yes, yes. And then we're now looking, you now map out your career. Mm -hmm. When you are smart about who you are, yes. opportunities will come your way. Awesome. Yeah. That has been really great. And but unfortunately, we are out of time. We look for some time, of course, to get to bring you along because we believe that information is power. Uh -huh. Many thanks for keeping it wide, 254. It has been such a morning this day. Of course, it's quite cold still here in Nairobi. But of course, we believe that your morning has been lit with our interactions for the day. Keep joining us every Monday to Friday. And of course, tomorrow it's Wednesday, Queen's Crush. You know, we got to do something for tomorrow. We are coming on board. We're going to make your morning lit. Do join us tomorrow. My name is Karanja Alex. And many thanks for keeping it wide. Y254.